ever been Adkins here, and if you're watching this video, then uh, you are trying to figure out how you can better use Pinterest uh, in conjunction with Facebook. And uh, it's it's really a cool um, it's a cool thing that not many people are doing right now. I'm just starting to see uh, some very smart people come up with some ways to connect the two. But I wanted to kind of give you my spin on it. Now I'm going to tell you right now, I was the guy that was a hundred percent. I'm not going to be have anything to do with Pinterest. I don't understand it. I I don't know what to stinking do with it. So that was me. And if that's where you've been because you don't get Pinterest, maybe you're a Facebook uh, marketer, maybe you're uh, looking to get into both, that's the trick. So the thing is, is I want to really quickly pull up uh, Facebook here and I want to show you um, just an, an example of what kind of pages that you can put together. So like, for instance, I have a page that, you know, we basically do something that's a very local marketing type thing. Um, you know, this is straight up for a local market. We're looking for things like that. That's one page that you might put together. Now I have another page um, that I think is very, um, very good for you to kind of look at here in how you would actually use Pinterest. And this one is actually, um, this one's a juicing page. You know, this is a juicing page. We market uh, juicing type products on this page. Um, but this is a group of people that are really into juicing. So if they're into juicing, you know that they are into health and things like that. So just a couple examples of, um, you know, a page here that you can use. So I've got a local kind of an offline marketing type page and I have a more of an online niche based page. So how do we use Pinterest here? So let's start with the juicing page. Now, some of the content that I love to post on the juicing page has to do with what we would call viral images. And this is a kind of image that you can post up uh, onto your Facebook page and get a lot of comments on. Now, the problem is, is a lot of time you're trying to guess at what kind of pictures people would be very, very interested in, what they would be into, um, in, in what gets them excited, what gets a lot of comments. The beauty of Pinterest is that is on the front page and they make it very easy for you to go through. So Pinterest really acts as an easy way for me to get content for Facebook pages. So let's say that I was running ads to a Facebook page. So my juicing page, I'm running ads to it. I want people, I'm targeting people that like other juicing pages. We want to bring them over to our juicing page. The only thing I really have to do is make my page extremely interesting. So how do I do that? Well, I know that people are into fitness if they're doing the juicing thing and they're into health. So I go into the Pinterest categories here, the everything. This is me logged into Pinterest and I'm just going to search for fitness. Simple. Now, this is literally the most popular images in the fitness section right now. And you can even look at um, you can even look at all these things that people are writing about them, things like that. So something that could be really good for my page is look, someone just posted up this awesome uh, total core toner and it shows you basically how to do this. So we could post this up. And you know, if we want to do this, we could actually link back to the page. So if I'm going to click this, it'll take us to the page that we've got this whole program. And this is a great website. Now this is just, now you're like, Ben, why are you driving content away from your Facebook page? Well, here's the thing, guys. If you're going to make money off of a Facebook page, or you're going to bring in traffic to a Facebook page, you just need content. So the users of Pinterest are basically curating uh, the best stuff, the stuff they think is great, and then people are basically voting it up. And it's not really voting it up on Pinterest, but the really popular stuff shows up on this page. Infographics are powerful. So what's happening is all of a sudden you can use all this stuff on Pinterest and post it up on your Facebook page. So we're going to post it up on our Facebook page and that is the content that is going to keep our fan base interested. If you keep your fan base interested, what's going to happen is they're going to take the stuff you shared from Pinterest and they're going to share it out. So what I would do is I would take an image that I found on Pinterest, post it here, and then what you'll start to notice is, especially if you have start getting a bigger fan page, people are going to share that content out and grow your fan page. So guys, extremely, extremely way easy way to do this and to get you know use Pinterest as a supplement to your Facebook. I call this the Facebook feeder technique, and uh, it all has to do with the people on Pinterest sharing stuff that they like. Now let's let's go back into this a little bit. We're we're going back into the every uh, everything section where we can look at what we've got. Let's say that you have a page that's centered around sports. 
you can click on the sports tab and all of a sudden you have all these cool things that you can share in a sports niche. So moving down through here, let's see what we got. Redneck swimming pool, always fun. Uh, let's see here. Let's move on to... I love the tennis ball thing here. This would be a great for a sports page uh, because it's just kind of silly and it's kind of a departure from most of the things people post on sports pages. Something like this is cool. You wouldn't think people that are into sports are into things like this, but they're going to get a good laugh on it, okay? So we've got stuff now. If you're really rocking through and you've got something, uh, you know, like this with someone, uh, some news, you get that. This is an easy way for you to pull content for your pages. You can see this is very current news, people sharing things. We've got something from the Cardinals. You got all this cool stuff that immediately they are putting the content together so that you can go back and post it on your Facebook page. So let's do one more. And I'm just going to, I think you guys are getting the point here. But let's say that we had something that was, you know, more women's interest, things like that. Maybe you would go in and you would go into women's apparel. So let's say you're doing something where you're marketing women's apparel on a Facebook page to maybe a fashion women's based Facebook page. Go find stuff that people are already telling you that they like. These are females telling you that they love this stuff. They're reposting it on their own pages and that's why it's showing up on these pages. And then you take it and post it to Facebook. Now don't go ahead and do that right away. What I like to do is I like to find this stuff like on Amazon. So let's say we found something cool. We can go find it and see if there was an affiliate program. We can go to Amazon and see if Amazon sold any of this stuff. And then we actually find it there, insert our link. We already know people are into it. This is how you can get on Facebook, start niche pages for things that, hey, you have no idea about, and Pinterest will tell you what the market is telling them. So guys, Facebook feeder technique, it's the Facebook Pinterest feeder technique actually. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully that is a super simple tip that you can use to really get your Facebook pages alive because when you post that kind of content, it's really, really powerful. Now one more little trick here. Facebook just added this. You can go in and you can tell it exactly when you want to post. This is a new feature Facebook added. You can tell Facebook when you want to post something. And the first thing you got to do is you got to tell it when you found it. So you founded your page then. Now you're able to go in and tell Facebook when you want to post. So if I want to post this something tomorrow, I say I want to do it 2012. I want to do it June 1st. And I want it to go up at 5 a.m. If I wanted to add a minute, I could do that. And then you type your post out and then you can schedule your post. That's a brand new feature in Facebook. So literally, you can go to Pinterest, find five things you want to post that week, and program your whole week into Facebook. Hope you guys love that. Hope this adds. I hope you enjoyed the bonus. This is the Facebook feeder technique, and uh, yeah, I hope you're digging it. All right, Dr. Ben Atkins here. I will talk with you soon.